Hi there, it's Holly here from Your Past is a Gift. So what I've discovered in the last few weeks, reading the book called The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle, is that once you start to realize why your thoughts are there, how they were created, and why they keep popping up for you, the ones that keep repeating in certain patterns, you know, once you realize why they're there, you can let them go. You no longer need to keep holding on to them. You can see it for what it is. Because I know in the book, he keeps talking about living in the present moment and focusing all your attention on this present moment. So the thought can't get in the way of it and distract you off into another direction. Take you away from this moment. Now, in this video, apart from, you know, having so much gratitude for having stumbled upon one of his YouTube videos, Eckhart Tolle, I absolutely love the book. I'm reading it now for the second time because each time I feel like there's more depth to it. I get more out of it. But what I've also realized is that I, we can't get there through thought. The idea of all these videos that you have here is to understand your thoughts where they've come from, why they're there, and then be able to let them go so that you can live in this present moment. Because many of the thoughts you've had come from the past, from something you've created in the past, a decision, a belief that was created way back there. And that keeps these thoughts repeating over and over in your head. They keep coming back and putting you in the same spot until you look at them. That's what they want. They want you to look at them so you can let them go. That's their purpose. And until you do, until you accept the feelings that you have and you understand why you have them and you look at the thoughts that keep bringing these feelings up for you, it's very difficult to live in the present moment. Because these feet, you know, the thoughts keep coming in and they keep wanting to interrupt you and they keep trying to move you away from you being in this present moment and living in peace. Now, with this video, I wanted to talk about uh, one of the ladies I was taking care of, uh, the elderly. I've been talking that, you know, during the day I work with the elderly now. And one of the ladies I had a few years ago now, you know, she had dementia. And as it progressed, okay, it started off and when I started with her, it was very early stages. So you could hardly notice it was there, okay, except she was quite elderly and she needed help with certain things. But, you know, in the beginning, if she had a, a restless night the night before, I could go in for, you know, a little while with her and spend some time with her and then she would lie down and have a rest. And so in that time that she was resting, I could, you know, clean up the kitchen and mop up the floors and I could make the house look a little bit nicer for the next carer that had to come in to take care, you know, of this elderly person. But as the disease progressed, what happened was this person no longer wanted to just lie down by herself and sleep by herself, no matter how little she had slept the night before, because sometimes I'd read the reports and she'd only slept two hours the night before. And that's hardly anything, you know, when I was coming in at 11 o'clock in the morning to see her, you know, and she'd been going for all night for just two hours sleep, you know, with only two hours sleep. So what happened was, when, as it progressed, she was getting less and less sleep in the night time. But if she lay down, I couldn't just leave her there in the end, you know, towards the last few months, I couldn't just leave her lying down to do any housework, to put out any washing or to do all the usual chores that I would do that would make me feel good, that I had done something nice for the next carer. There was less work for them to do when they came in. And this video I wanted to dedicate to um, an app that I found on my phone. It was called Headspace. And it, for me at that time, it saved my head. <laughs> it saved my life because what would happen was I had to lay down next to this person and I had to hold their hand and if I didn't do that they could not sleep as soon as I left the room they would follow me out again okay it got to that point where they just couldn't lie down and rest on their own I had to be there 
And so I was, you know, scheduled to be there with them for two hours, three times a week. And I just found, you know, the first week or the first two weeks to just lie there and just hold their hand and to stay completely still and not be able to do anything. You know, my mind was racing with, but I need to put the washing out. There's a load of washing in the washing machine and I need to clean the kitchen and I need to... My mind was all over the place thinking of all the chores that I needed to do before I left. But I knew because it had already happened a few times. If I left this person there, that she would follow me. She would get up and she would start following me all over the house. She wouldn't rest. And so I had to choose. I'm there for her. I'm being paid to take care of her. My job was to do the right thing by her, what she needed. And if she had only had two hours sleep overnight, I had to learn to stay with her so that she could get those two hours that I was there, at least sleep those two hours with me, holding her hand that she knew I was there and I wasn't gonna leave her. And that's what it came down to in the end. But by chance, you know, I went online and I thought, oh, what am I gonna do? Because I found it so difficult to just the first 30 minutes to just lay there and not want to do something else. You know, my mind was going crazy thinking I have to do something. I can't just lie here for the two hours. I just felt, it felt wrong to me. It felt like I was doing the wrong thing because I'd never done it before, you know, to just go and not do anything. And as the weeks progressed, I found this gorgeous app on my phone called Headspace. And I started to do that at night time. And funny enough, the guy on there, his name's Andy, and he talks about exactly the same things as what I have found in the power of now. They're just beautiful, beautiful meditations. And they teach you to just look at your thoughts and not engage with them. Just look at them and let them, let them be. And he's got all these gorgeous little animations that explain how meditation works and how thoughts work and how it all comes together, how to find that peace inside. He's just beautiful. I love listening to his voice. Even to this day, I'm still doing them every day. I just love them, you know, but he saved me because I thought, what do I do for the two hours? How do you just stay still and stay quiet and not do anything and not have your mind going crazy that it should be doing something? We should be doing something, <laughs> you know? It was one of the hardest things I've had to do in my life. But through those meditations, even though I didn't have him in, I wasn't listening to it while I was lying down with her, I remembered what the meditation was when I laid down. And so I would slow down my breathing and I would just concentrate on each breath as it came. And I would let that breath go. And I would count them just as he says in the meditations. And I would go through my body and I would scan what I was feeling all through my body. And so the two hours in the end turned out to be a meditation for me and she got her rest, you know? So it worked out to be a win-win, but it took a while to get there, you know, to what was important. Because we're never taught what is important, what the most important things are. And to be honest, the most important thing was to be with her. All she wanted was someone to be with her. That's all she needed. And with that, she got rest, which she desperately needed, you know, because two hours a night is not enough. So I want you to think about that today. Are you one of these people that has to be constantly busy that you can't stop for one minute? Oh, I would encourage you. Honestly, I'll put a I'll put a link in the description below for his meditations. They're beautiful. The app is called Headspace. It's all one word. And I do the free meditations. I haven't paid for any yet, but I found that that was enough for me to get the mind to just be still and just be. It allows me to just be when I need it to. All right, my darlings? I love you guys. Remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.